Hi, boys and girls. Happy to see you guys today. We're going to read a story today called A Grand Old Tree by Mary Newell De Palma. I hope you guys like it. A Grand Old Tree. Once there was a grand old tree. Oh, look. That tree's helping all these animals. Her roots sank deep into the earth. Oh, look at all those roots. Her arms reached high into the sky. She was home to many creatures. Birds nested among her branches. Squirrels scurried through her leaves. Caterpillars and ladybugs crawled about. The grand old tree flower. Bore fruit. and sowed seeds. She had many children. They changed the landscape for miles around, perhaps even farther than the old tree knew. Look, what's that bird got in its feet? The grand old tree lived a long, long time. She basked in the sun, bathed in the rain, swayed in the breeze, and danced in the wind. She grew and shed. Many millions of leaves. At last, the grand old tree was very, very old. Her branches no longer swayed and danced, but cracked and snapped in the wind. Finally, she fell, and snow gently covered her. The old tree died. She no longer flowered, bore fruit, or sowed seeds. But she was still home to many creatures. Raccoons nested in her trunk. Centipedes crawled along her branches. And lichen grew on her back. What do you think lichen is? Lichens this stuff right here. Kind of looks like kind of like moss or like stuff just growing out of the tree. The grand old tree slowly crumbled. She became part of the earth. Look, she almost looks like dirt here, doesn't she? Today the roots of her grandchildren sink deep into this earth. Their arms reach high into the sky. They are home to many creatures. Just like the grand old tree. The end. Hope you guys like that one as much as I do. See you soon. Bye.